Hi! <laughs> Welcome to my cat. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I am going to be pouring rather a large canvas. It is a 24 inch diameter round canvas. Um, it is one I picked up from the warehouse. It's got a pre-printed image on it. The only thing that annoys me a little bit is that the lettering on it is kind of stamped in which makes a little bit of a dent which shows through the paint um, after I've done it but that's okay this is for fun like how much fun can you have with paint now I don't know if you can tell but I have built a wall around my uh, my little clay area and this is because this is going to be a spin pour and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do a um, strainer pour through onto here and then spin it out so I've got probably 75% of the ring covered and I'm gonna have to hope that I can cover the rest with my body to protect anything else although there's no no dry paintings <laughs> so let's have a look what we've got we've got we're using this um, artworks acrylic it's a uh, non-toxic, easy to use uh, stuff. And I've got silver, fluoro blue, fluoro purple, and yellow of this range. And um, I've also got some Reeves acrylic white, which um, I didn't buy any white of this, so I'm hoping that doesn't react to each other. And as an absolute backup, if need be, I have a pot of my, well, part of a pot of um, my backup paint. So, hopefully my walls are tall enough, and let's get started. So, I've got a container that I'm going to pour into. Where did it go? I had a container. <laughs> Where did it go? My lovely. And this is a one kilo yogurt container. So hopefully it will be big enough to hold everything that we require. And none of my colours today have got silicon in them. They are just Floetrol and water. <clears throat> So let's get pouring. Um, I'm just going to run them down the side and layer on top of each other. <coughs> and uh, in some layers, I will add white in between, and some I will not. I'm not fussed with the purple and the yellow together. Now, <coughs> on my, <coughs> excuse me, on my calculator, it said that I needed 1.8 litres of paint for a 24-inch Um, what are we up to? I don't know. Yellow, maybe. Um, that's not going to be the case. I'm not going to use that much paint, but uh, we will see. I think we'll probably be using around about a litre, which is for those of you. Who use Imperial, that is about a point. No, it's not. Point six hundred mil. Mm. 
I'm not doing e exactly the same order as you may have noticed but that's okay there is no right and no wrong my only request of myself is to remember to not put the yellow and the purple together we have got lots and lots of layers so the viscosity of the paint may end up giving us cells oh I just got a lump of something in there uh, I don't know if I got it that's right about that I'm not getting and last ring of colour for each there we go and I'm going to put a blob of white in the middle to start us off from so let's put that down there and move all of these right out of the way all right that way when the paint flies around at velocity we don't get paint in our premix so next step is to put our uh, this is one of those strainer um, plugs that you get for your dish like your sink in your kitchen and I have glued it to a plastic shot glass no I haven't glued it, I've used blue tap um, just to keep it up and allow it to flow out a little bit so who's ready for this? I am just going to pour straight into the middle and as that pour really really slowly and as that pours it will hopefully push the paint out feeling the silver is going to take over a bit now if you want to know how I've made my Thinner. you can go and look at the video that from which I made it um, and if I remember I will put a link to that video at the end of the this video so you can go and have a look Now I'm just turning that round because I was getting a lot of silver coming out of the top and so I was getting a lot of the same colour
think I've got way too much silver in this painting. So I'm intrigued to see how it comes out. that green. Now I'm going to stop there. I haven't used all my paint. What I'm going to do now is put a ring of white target with the ring of white is to give it something to let's give it something to talk about a little mystery to figure out <laughs> something to guide the paint around something for it to slide on start off pop that over there and before I do anything else I'm gonna make a little bit of patterning in that middle for it to play with as it spins so we don't just have a big white blob Bring some of that colour in. There we go. Are we ready? Let's check that we are recording completely. I am ready. Here we go. That is very cool. I'm liking that a lot. It's quite muted, but 
But you've got to remember that majority of that mutedness is from the silver. So when it dries, wow, oh, I'm looking forward to this. I'm actually going to spin it back the other way and see if I can move that centre point a little bit. Nope, that's it. That's where I'm keeping it. Wow, I like that. I like that a lot. That was fun. I think I might do a small one of those as well, because that was fun. I like that. Wow, and I've got plenty of paint left. I might put some more blue and purple into that and see what we get. Hmm. I don't know how I'm going to cover that though. I think I'm going to need to use a massage table box cut open. Right, so I'll be back shortly to show you how it dries. Alright guys, so we are back and it is a number of days later. Um, and I, it's not 100% dry, but I'm just not going to touch it where it's not dry. So let's have the big reveal under the massage table box. Let's have a look. And see what we can see. Bum, bum, bum.
That is definitely a lot darker than what we saw um, at the end of the video before. Uh, wow. I, I'm, I prefer it darker, I must say. That is definitely more my type of thing. Um, it is still, see how it's shiny and glossy in the middle there? That is still quite wet. And as I said, this is a number of days later. Um, how many days is it? What day did I do it? It's Saturday now. And I think it was either Monday or Tuesday that I poured this. I think probably Monday. So, but look, at, let's have a look. Look at this. It's so funky. It is super busy. But also... Overall, it's not super busy. Does that make sense? There's so much to look at. I love this. Look at this. <gasps> yum, yum. It's just so cool. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Definitely doesn't go in my house. These bits. Every single one of these is different. No two are the same. Just like you and me, no two the same. I like it. I like it a lot. And when you come into the middle there, that's pretty funky. Funky chunky. And I want to see if I can capture the silverness. Can you see the reflection in the silver? That's cool. Super cool. Look at the dots in the silver of silver in there. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. That's almost like a feather. I like, I like. Wow. It's, it grows. It's funky. Now, just for a bit of clarity, there is a scuff mark here. And that's because I picked up the box and a bit of fluff fell out and when I tried to pick it up I caused that little bit of damage there and as I said right at the beginning if you are on the right angle let me see if I can get it there <laughs> raise my finger this there you can just see the lines I might be able to see better over here there we go see the lines of where the wording is See an M and an A, and you can kind of follow it around. So, if anybody is putting their hand up for this, A, postage is going to be huge, um, but B, be aware that this is on a um, recycled canvas uh, that I got from the warehouse. So, um, but I like it. I, I, I think it's cool. So let me know what you think in the comments. Um, <laughs> I have used the rest of that pot of paint that was left over and made a smaller one. So that will be coming through tomorrow as the video. And uh, yeah. What have you not tried this year? What have you not ever tried? What would you like to try that if you tried it might show up greater than you imagined? <laughs> so 
this month's challenge on acrylic pouring for fun Facebook group is to do something you've never done before whether it's colors whether it's recipe whether it's what you're pouring through or onto or anything if it's new to you then post it in there uh, if you go to the acrylic pouring for fun Facebook group uh, the event is actually pinned to the top of the the group but please click on the event and then post within the event not just in the comments of that post does that make sense let's have them all in the same place so there you go guys how much fun can you have i don't really love that piece there and i'm wondering hmm wondering wondering what can i create with that <laughs> all right so guys thanks so much for joining me on this epic journey and uh, i look forward to sharing with you what's coming next bye bye